Nick, when it comes to misinformation on AI, there's been lots of talk about how this could potentially influence or what the run up to the election could look like now that we have AI and the mass adoption of AI. When it comes to Meta's role in this and how you're approaching the 2024 election, because now you also have Threads, which has over 100 million users. What does your playbook look like this time around? I think the key thing I, 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 I'd like to say about this is that the way we build our systems, not least our AI systems, which uh, you know, which which um, make sure that um, bad content, nefarious content, whether it's disinformation, whether it's uh, foreign attempts to uh, uh, interfere in elections, whether it's hate speech and so on, that those systems will tackle content regardless of where it's created, whether it's created by a human being or by a machine. So whilst the volume may change, the fundamental architecture of our protections, which we've built up over the years, and not least because of you know the experience of what happened back in 2016, and because of the immense advances in, in, in AI, when we've spent $16 billion over the last few years on, on those kind of defense, defenses and protections we have, you know, tens of thousands of people working on this around the clock. Um, th th those AI systems will tackle um, misinformation, disinformation, where we can identify it, regardless of its source. And that's, I think, important to remember. It's not as if, as I say, the velocity and volume may change, but the fundamental um, power we have is because we are a platform that can control the distribution of that content is as long as we can identify it we can then restrict or even remove that content if we find it. Nick this all totally makes sense to me but my question is how do we know it's going to work let's fast forward 18 months let's say the election is over how do we know that Meta has succeeded in mitigating misinformation? Well, I, I, look, my crystal ball is no clearer than, than, than yours. All I can point to you, so I can't tell you exactly what's going to happen in the future and particularly not in something as unpredictable as elections. I, what I can reassure you about is that, you know, do, do remember we're a global platform. Over 95% of our users are outside the United States and we have elections every single month in many different parts of the world. So it's not as if we only ever have to prepare ourselves for the US election. We have teams, we have highly sophisticated automated models which are working to deal with elections non-stop all year round, you know, month in, month out. And with each election, we learn more because it's a very adversarial space. So I, I do think we're getting better. We have constant practice in doing this. We have made massive investments, I think, well beating and uh, certainly uh, industry leading a technology to deal with misinformation, disinformation and so on. We give users as much information as we as we possibly can. And as I said earlier, it doesn't really matter from our point of view whether the material, if it's unwelcome and we want to block it or restrict it is produced by a machine or a human being, we will try and uh, tackle it. But uh, look, I, I, so I can only sort of tell you that I think we, 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 we try our level best and we do so on an ongoing basis. But exactly how that'll play out, well, that's something that obviously we can speak about after the, after the elections themselves.